What's up today my fellow man soldiers? So what we're going to be doing today is upgrade night train lane. But before we do, I want to speak to you guys about how what I went about in order to acquire him. People are using different methods. One of the methods that people are using is they're actually going to the theme diamond sets and actually com completing it and then get getting the power up as well as that player reselling it and whatever coins that they make, they're using those same coins to go ahead and complete another set. So let's go over here and see. We'll go ahead and look at like probably one or two sets because I know some people are probably going to be curious or they might not be home right now. Whatever the case may be, just, just to see what's going for what. So remember, you need 32 of these items in order to complete the set. As you can tell right here, I didn't complete the set apparently. So that ain't what I went about doing it. I actually purchased him and I'm going to talk to you about that in a minute. So and why I did what I did, but but first let's go ahead and look at this. So let's look at the first card, which is usually the one that's the most most of the time. 44k is not bad for that card. So, but some of these lower cards could be going for a lot too. 27k for that card. There's Khalil Mack He's going for 28k, not bad. And 18k for that one. Some of these players you cannot even find though, so just be aware of that. So I'm gonna say let's look at this last one. 15. So I will say about a little either a little under 200 k or a little a little over 200 k it costs to complete the set, right? So remember when you put them up in the auction auction block, you say you're selling this guy because I some of these players right, right? Let's just back out. Because we're gonna see how much night train lane is going for right now too, so I can show you guys. Some of these players are actually going for about, I think, 170k. I don't even. I think even some are going for like 150k. Um, some are going for 200k. So we're gonna do the math right now for you guys to see which way you want to go about doing it. So it's gonna be 94, 95. And it's gonna be themed diamonds, right? Well, they have it just under diamonds, so we'll put diamonds. It's all the way. It's all the way at the end, just so you guys know. It's all the way at the bottom. Themed diamonds. There you go. So, anyways, look at. This guy's going for 118k. This guy for 155, 156. So a lot of these guys done went down already. But remember, some of those, some of the, some of those power ups are actually quite a bit too. Some going for like 50k, 60k. Some actually are going for like a hundred. Well, I mean, 1k only. So just so you guys know that. So look at these guys, 170. Okay, so we're gonna say, we're, <laughs> wow, 170. Okay, so we'll keep it about like 170, right? That you can sell them for. Some of these power ups. Let's go to. Okay, this guy's going. This guy's going for 170. So let's go. Let's go to this. Let's leave this. All right. Let's go to kicker. And then we're gonna go to power ups. Oh, let's say I was like, he had another card. But the same one. So we'll go to power ups. So where is he at? Here he is right here. Five thousand K for that for that uh, power up. Not that much, all right. So anyways, this is what I want to. This is what I want to explain to you. So say for instance, you're getting all the stuff. You're signing the car for about 170, 180 K, right? You're gonna lose 18 K off the top. So we'll just we'll just say that you're gonna lose 20 K. We'll say you lose 20 K. 20 20 K times 32 comes to like four 640 K. All right, 640k. If, if you're selling it for 200k, though, remember that. If you're selling it for a little under that, then it's gonna come out to what a little bit, a little bit less that you're gonna lose off off the top. But the thing is, this is what I want, what I want, what I want to stress to you guys. You could actually go and do that, and just sell it and sell it and sell it. You're gonna lose, you're gonna lose a little bit of profit and probably get night train lane for like 640. I could have did that. But I look more about the hassle, hassle of having to go to auction blocks, selling it, and taking my time to little do it, uh, little by little to do it. And I was like, you know what? All the time that I put into this to actually do it, um, if I needed to do it, like meaning that I didn't have no coins at all, whatever the case would be, then yeah, go ahead and do it. And you guys really want it. But remember, you're going to lose about 640K, maybe even more, depending on how the... Um, how it is how, how what what the player is going for and how fast it is to sell it because sometimes people are going to undercut you sometimes you have to undercut yourself and so forth so i gotta go back because i'm gonna show you guys how much night training is going for so this morning he was going for like 1.229 so 
I didn't beat the person whoever was at bottom because that's actually was pretty cheap the cheapest you've seen him so right now he's going for 1.3 that's about the average yesterday he's going for 1.4 and because I wanted him real bad I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and if he goes down back to 1.3 or lower I'm gonna go ahead and buy him that's what it was so I bought him I'm happy with it I, I got plenty of coins but like I said the reason why I chose that option is because I didn't want to go through the hassle of doing that waiting like a day or two or three days four days or even a week no, no matter how i don't know how long it was going to take in order to complete all sets i felt it was more of a headache so i just went out and bought them out right because i want them on my squad and that's how i did it but if you guys want to do it you guys will save a little bit of coins doing it on the way up but remember though it is time consuming but like i said it's going to be up to you um on, on how about you guys on basically how about you guys want to go do it so anyways i already have on my lineup so we're going to add the training and then we're going to put the card and we're going to see the stats. So if you guys are wondering like why did you pay so much for that corner. I know it's a 99 gold. That ain't the main reason why I got it. I'm happy to have a 99 gold on my team. But like I told you guys before. If you guys seen the video of me adding them to my squad from the beginning. Like when I first acquired them. The reason why is because this dude got 91 hit power just, just with the card that I had right now. But with this new card he's going to go to like 96 hit power for a corner there is no other corner in the game that has 96 hit power so considering what Madden is about today Madden is about in Madden 20 about hit power enforcer then what that then were the abilities that are really effective whether I put him forward most likely I'm gonna put a force on but even if I don't he has 96 hit power that hit power is everything when it comes to Madden so that's one thing that I'm considering right now so what I'm also gonna do I'll bring it to you guys too as I'm gonna go through my corners I'm gonna go through a lot of other corners and see who has like decent hit power and most likely i might even add them to the lineup and take other players out or put them as my backups so if you guys have any suggestions i will ask you guys right now to put in the comment section of any other corners who have decent hit power i know mal refno um he has all right hit power so that's why i like having them but i'm looking for another corner too so if you guys have any suggestions let me know so anyways we're gonna see his x factor so his x factor is not really nothing new first tier so man up so he actually got some good stuff oh he has jukebox the universal coverage let me tell you something about that people are saying oh yeah it's good and this i have it on Dion sanders maybe it's just Dion sanders but it was not doing anything so he gets enforcer on the first tier that is insane so does he get anything different so remember his jukebox has something uh new that I mean, I, I think it's new. Yeah, that, that's something new that he gets with this card. So I would figure it out. What? So he's already 99 gold, so there's nothing else that's going to happen to this card. So he's not going to get none of this other stuff. So we can count that out. But let's see. So, okay. So he he just has basically on two or two or more. I think, I think three, right? But I know two for sure. He has the Enforcer. As well as universal coverage and stuff so it gives you guys the ability to to have multiple different abilities that you guys really want like universal coverage and other one you can have you can have actual um enforced or whatever i don't know about that like i said the universal coverage maybe it was just Deion sanders but the thing was <laughs> balls would like fight right by him go right over his head and he wouldn't even jump from him so i was like man forget this i'm not even going to use it so what's he got he got stat everybody's using that that I, have I don't have no one with that font on my squad, so I don't know if I want to get them. Uh, I'll probably change it later on. I don't want. I don't know about all that. So we got Sprinter. We'll put times two. I want to put times two, and the reason why is because let's see what this. Oh, he didn't get the Cowboy Cam too. That's what it is too. That's another reason why I got him. I got him. I'm, I'm still debating if I'm gonna put him on a Cowboy Squad. I might just put him on just to have him on for the meantime. But I don't know if I want to. I'm, I'm still on the side. Let me know what you guys think. But I'm still on the side because he actually never played for the Cowboys. But I'm just gonna look at because I want to do it because of his stats. And I know he's gonna be uh, it's gonna be like pretty good. So that's why I put the times two sprinter on him too. Because on my Cowboy Squad, I put times two on everybody. But. It, we're, we're, Regardless of the fact though, he's gonna have a lot of cowboy cams on him just right now, just based on what I have in my lineup. So we'll check out everything. But yeah, like I said, I'm still undecided about it. But we'll see what happens. But anyway, got 99 gold. I'll go ahead and move all, all this other stuff around later on and then uh update you guys on it. 
Oh my goodness. So this is how he look at it. This is with blue cams. Remember, I got Dallas Cowboy cams because he gets the cam ability. I mean, he gets he gets that he's able to get that the, that cam any team cam, as well as John Madden, as well as you know lockdown and so forth and sprinter. So he got 99 speed, 98 acceleration, 97 play rec, 97 press, 99 zone coverage, 96 man, 95 agility, 99 jumping. This card is insane right here, especially early on in the game. I'm happy to get him because it, to me it, it don't get no better than this card. So, and the reason why he got 99 speed, remember, because he, he went up to 95 speed. Once I part him all the way up, he gets plus three speed with John Manning as well as well as well as Sprinter. However, if you have at least 25 Cowboys in your lineup, which I do on on my main on my main squad too, I'm on my on my main squad. I got 20 at least 25 Cowboys, so he gets that plus one speed. So on my other speed, I mean on my speed on my other team, which is my Cowboy team, um, he'll get plus what? He gets three. He'll get plus five speed because not only do I have 50 Cowboys. 50, 50 out of 50 Cowboys will give me plus two speed. He also gets, uh, yeah, five. He'll get five, three, four, five. He'll, he'll, he also, he also gets, uh, from the balance though, he'll also get another speed. So he'll, okay, he'll get two from Sprinter and then three from the Cowboy can. So he'll get five all together. But he's already 99 speed either way. So it's not going to matter. He can't go, he ain't going to go to 100 speed. So that's just going to be for that. But he got decent, uh, decent stats. Now we're going to look at him. Without any of blue cams, so we'll go to Deion Sanders. Let's see how he looks. Okay, so here he is over here on the right side. This is him without any cams, without no sprint or anything on him. So just buy his card alone. Powered all the way up. He's 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 95 play rate, 95 press, 98 zone, 97 jumping, 96 agility, 94 man. So even just the card alone is good because you got some cards that are powered all the way up. Something like Byron Jones or other cards. And they don't even have good stats like that. And they're powered up with blue cams. With blue cams in it, I don't even look that good. So, with blue cams and everything, Night Train Lane is even better. But even by himself, he's a, he's a decent card. Most likely, you know, I'm going to put him as my first receiver. You know, move, move other cards around. But I'm not going to do that right now. But, but just stay tuned because I will be doing a Dallas Cowboy lineup upgrade. And we're going to see how we're gonna see how these players look on the squad. So just stay tuned for that. But anyways, I'm going to leave it right here. If you guys like what you've seen, drop a like. If you guys need sub, sub to the channel. There will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.